Every chip and every device you own required 1,000 plus manufacturing steps, three months of production time, and facilities that cost billions to build. A single mistake in this process can render an entire wafer of chips worth hundreds of thousands of dollars completely useless. This is the challenge of semiconductor manufacturing. The solution? Facilities like Micron's Taiwan Megafab, where extreme precision, automation, and human expertise combine to produce the memory chips that power our digital world. Today, we're going inside this technological marvel to show you how Taiwan became the semiconductor capital of the world, and how these invisible components make modern life possible. What if I told you that tiny chip in your smartphone traveled through a facility the size of 140 football fields before reaching your hand? Every time you scroll through social media, snap a photo, or send a message, you're relying on memory chips that have undergone one of modern manufacturing's most extraordinary journeys. While we casually slide these sleek devices into our pockets, the reality behind their creation couldn't be more different. The components powering our digital lives emerge from industrial complexes of staggering proportions. Micron Technologies' Taiwan facility exemplifies this contrast, spanning an impressive 1,000 square meters, equivalent to 140 football pitches, all dedicated to producing memory chips smaller than your fingernail. This manufacturing colossus isn't just remarkable for its size. Within its walls, an entire production ecosystem operates across two primary manufacturing plants, one in Taoyuan Kuishan and another in Taichung Huli. These facilities house the complete chip production cycle, from initial research and development through fabrication, assembly, and testing, all the way to final sales. Taiwan's emergence as the semiconductor capital of the world didn't happen by chance. The island nation strategically cultivated expertise over decades, transforming itself into the epicenter of chip manufacturing. Today, Taiwan commands nearly 70% of the global foundry services market, where they manufacture chips designed by other companies. Even more impressively, the country controls over 90% of advanced fabrication processes where cutting-edge chip designs become reality. This concentration of expertise creates a powerful network effect. When manufacturers, designers, suppliers, and testing facilities operate in close proximity, they form an ecosystem that accelerates innovation and efficiency. The geographical advantage of Taiwan's location has allowed it to develop this tightly integrated semiconductor manufacturing hub that's unmatched anywhere else in the world. Micron's presence in Taiwan spans nearly three decades, making it one of the longest established semiconductor manufacturers in the region. This deep-rooted commitment has been instrumental in developing Taiwan's semiconductor prowess. The numbers tell the story. A remarkable 65% of Micron's DRAM, dynamic random access memory, production occurs within Taiwan's borders. Considering Micron holds more than 10% of the global DRAM market, this represents an enormous concentration of critical technology production. The stark contrast between what consumers experience and what actually happens in production couldn't be more pronounced. When we power up our devices, we're interacting with the finished product of an industrial process of mind-boggling complexity. The memory chips in your smartphone began as raw silicon before undergoing hundreds of precision manufacturing steps requiring billions in specialized equipment. What consumers don't see is the army of engineers, technicians, and automated systems working in concert to achieve what was once thought impossible cramming billions of transistors onto chips barely visible to the naked eye. Micron's specialized DRAM production contributes significantly to Taiwan's semiconductor dominance, providing the essential memory components that complement the logic chips produced by other Taiwanese manufacturers. The journey these chips take from raw materials to finished products is nothing short of extraordinary. 
Before a single chip reaches your device, it travels through a manufacturing gauntlet that would be unrecognizable to most consumers. This process isn't just complex. It's a marvel of human ingenuity that pushes the boundaries of what's physically possible. How many steps do you think are involved in creating a semiconductor chip from start to finish? The answer is astonishing. Over 1,000 distinct manufacturing steps spanning a three-month production timeline. Each of these steps must be executed with near-perfect precision, as a single error can render an entire batch useless. That first battle in this immense manufacturing marathon isn't against technological limitations, it's against dust. Before a single fabrication process begins, Micron creates something that seems impossible. A workspace a hundred times cleaner than the most sterile hospital operating room, where even a stray eyelash could trigger a multi-million dollar disaster. Welcome to the fab, short for fabrication area, the heart of semiconductor manufacturing, where a speck of dust invisible to the naked eye becomes a catastrophic threat. Within these pristine chambers, semiconductor components measuring mere nanometers are constructed with atomic precision. At this scale, a particle that might seem insignificant in any other context transforms into a mountain-sized obstacle capable of destroying entire batches of wafers. Imagine you're preparing to enter this sanctum of cleanliness. First, you'll encounter what's known in the industry as the gowning room, a transition space designed with intense attention to detail. Even the furniture here reveals the commitment to extreme cleanliness, constructed from stainless steel specifically chosen to minimize particle shedding. Nothing in this environment is ordinary or unconsidered. The transformation from human to clean room worker begins with donning what insiders humorously call bunny suits. These aren't simple coveralls, but comprehensive contamination barriers designed to trap the multitude of particles our bodies naturally shed. The typical person releases millions of skin cells and countless hairs throughout the day, each one a potential chip killer in the fab environment. The gowning process itself follows a meticulous protocol that leaves nothing to chance. Layer by layer, workers shield themselves, and more importantly, shield the clean room from themselves. Booties, hoods, gloves, face masks, and goggles create an impenetrable barrier against human-sourced contamination. The suit isn't to protect the worker, it's to protect the delicate wafers from the worker. Yet, even fully suited, you're not ready to enter the fab. The final guardian between the outside world and the clean room is an air shower, a specialized chamber that forms the last line of defense. Here, filtered air blasts through numerous vents, dislodging any stubborn particles that might have survived the gowning process. Only after this final cleansing ritual can workers enter the manufacturing floor. Inside the fab itself, the air is in constant motion, filtered continuously through sophisticated systems that capture particles down to the nanometer scale. Unlike a typical building where air might be exchanged a few times per hour, the clean room's atmosphere is completely replaced many times per minute, creating a dynamic environment of perpetual purification. The extreme measures don't stop with air quality. Human presence on the production floor is carefully minimized, with automation handling many processes that once required manual intervention. Where human judgment and oversight remain necessary, the work has shifted dramatically from physical handling to knowledge-based decision-making. Supervising systems rather than manipulating materials directly. This transformation in manufacturing approach marks a fundamental shift in how these advanced components are created. The complexity of modern chip fabrication has moved beyond what human hands alone could accomplish requiring a partnership between specialized workers and advanced automation systems. Each person entering the clean room represents both a necessary source of expertise and a potential contamination risk to be managed. The semiconductor industry's obsession with cleanliness 
might seem excessive to outsiders, but the financial stakes justify every precaution. A single compromise batch can represent millions in lost revenue. More importantly, these extraordinary measures are the only way to achieve the submicroscopic precision modern technology demands. This clean room environment, an artificial bubble of near-perfect purity, represents the canvas upon which the most intricate components of our digital world are drawn. Only within these pristine walls can the journey from raw silicon to sophisticated memory chip truly begin. Inside this meticulously clean environment, engineers face their greatest technical hurdle, creating billions of identical structures so small they're invisible to all but the most powerful microscopes. The machines that accomplish this feat cost upward of $100 million each, a price that reflects their almost unbelievable precision. At the heart of this process is photolithography, a technique that transforms raw silicon into functioning circuits through what amounts to an incredibly sophisticated printing process. Much like developing photographs in a dark room, photolithography uses ultraviolet light projected through specialized masks to transfer circuit, circuit designs as silicon wafers. But the precision here dwarfs anything in conventional photography. The scale of this engineering challenge is difficult to comprehend. Modern transistors, the fundamental building blocks that function as microscopic switches in computing, are approximately 10,000 times smaller than a human hair. These nanoscale components form pathways just a few nanometers wide, etched with such extreme precision that even the slightest deviation would render entire sections of the chip useless. The photolithography process begins with coating the silicon wafer with a light-sensitive chemical layer. Engineers then use specialized machines to project UV light through masks containing the circuit pattern. When this light hits the chemical coating, it triggers a reaction, hardening the exposed areas while leaving unexposed sections vulnerable to removal and subsequent steps. Through careful etching and layering, complex three-dimensional structures emerge, forming the intricate circuitry of memory chips. What makes this process truly remarkable isn't just the microscopic scale, but the near-perfect accuracy maintained across billions of components. Each chip contains countless transistors that must function flawlessly, a manufacturing achievement akin to building millions of identical skyscrapers each the size of a dust particle. To achieve this level of consistency, human intervention has been minimized through extraordinary automation. Thousands of automated guided vehicles, AGVs, quietly traverse the factory floor, collectively traveling nearly 400,000 kilometers daily, equivalent to circling Earth 10 times. These sophisticated machines aren't simply following predetermined paths, they're equipped with advanced sensors, allowing them to detect and avoid each other while optimizing delivery efficiency throughout the facility. This automation revolution has fundamentally transformed the human role in semiconductor manufacturing. Rather than directly handling materials, a relatively small team of 70 to 90 colleagues per shift monitors the entire production process through comprehensive remote systems. They oversee tens of thousands of sensors and millions of control points, shifting their contribution from manual labor to knowledge-based decision-making. The sheer volume of information processed daily is staggering. The factory generates and analyzes up to 30 petabytes of data every 24 hours, an almost inconceivable amount of information that must be consolidated and simplified into actionable insights. Control screens display critical performance indicators, allowing team members to immediately grasp production priorities and identify potential issues anywhere within the massive facility. This data-driven approach enables continuous refinement of the manufacturing process, ensuring consistently high yields despite the extraordinary complexity involved. The partnership between advanced automation and specialized human expertise 
creates a manufacturing system capable of producing components at scales beyond what either could achieve independently. How exactly do billions of microscopic transistors get created on a chip smaller than your fingernail? The answer lies in this intricate dance of light, chemicals, and precisely controlled environments. Through carefully choreographed steps of exposure, etching, and layering, circuit designs that began as digital files transform into physical structures that enable everything from smartphone operations to advanced artificial intelligence. Taiwan's semiconductor industry continues evolving with a clear vision for the future. As semiconductor veteran Zhang Lian Bin emphasizes, we're talking about getting all thousand oversteps correctly lined up to be able to have functional chips. This precision represents more than just technical achievement. It's the foundation of our digital world. What truly distinguishes Taiwan's contribution is the industry's forward-thinking approach to sustainability. At Micron's facilities, environmental initiatives include recycling isopropyl alcohol and reclaiming nearly 80% of manufacturing water. They're even creating green spaces within factory walls. As one Micron representative proudly states, we only give out chips and nothing else, which means we try to leave as small environmental footprint as possible.